Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's a very interesting connection between center mass and conservation of momentum. We've learned before that when two objects collide, we can then figure out what the final velocity will be when they then stick together after the collision, what the final velocity then will be of the system. We can use the principle of conservation of uh, momentum, but we can also think about it as the center of mass, whatever it's doing before the collision, will do the same thing after the collision. So here's a good example of that. Let's say we have two objects, a big object with mass of 6 kilograms moving to the right at 6 meters per second, and at this moment in time it is 6 meters away from uh, a point of reference. We have another mass with the mass of 4 kilograms moving to the left at 4 meters per second, and a distance of 46 meters away from that same point of origin or point of reference. If we then calculate where the center of mass is of the system at this very moment in time, we use the very same principle. We multiply the mass of the first object by the, times the position of the center mass of that object. So in this case, it's 6 kilograms times 6 meters away. And we do the same with the small mass, 4 kilograms, 46 meters away, and divide by the sum of the two masses. And it ends up that at this very moment in time, the center mass is at 22 meters away from the point of reference. So we can say that the center mass will be right here of the system and it will be at a distance of 22 meters away from the point of reference. Now we look at it one second later. The mass, the big mass has now moved to a distance of 12 meters since it's moving at 6 meters per second and now the small mass is now at a distance of 42 meters instead of 46 meters because it's moving to the left at 4 meters per second. Again, we'll calculate the center mass, but now for one second later, we use the same principle, and now we find that the center mass is at 24 meters, so it has moved from 22 meters to a distance of 24 meters. So what we can say is that the center mass is moving from left to right at a speed of 2 meters per second, which means that after the collision, both masses together, if they stick together, will continue to move to the left, to the right, at the same speed of 2 meters per second. So by conclusion, we can say that the final velocity of the two masses, once they collide and stick together, will be to the right at 2 meters per second. Simply because we know that the center mass, once it's in motion, it will remain in motion at constant speed throughout the event, throughout the collision. And that's a very interesting property of the center of mass.